This video will cover HRAT work on the wheelie. The wheelie is an alternative to the Flipper Zero based on ESP32. It includes a T-Display S3 module. And this module is made by Liligo and it has actually a color and touch screen. And you could see the form factor on this picture. It's smaller than the Flipper Zero. What you could see here is all the different interface. So it will benefit from the touchscreen and the color to make a better UX. And if you we go right now, what I wanted to show you as well on the picture, there is actually the need to buy two shield. So the shield here will be as known as a GPIO module for the Flipper Zero. And compared to the Flipper Zero, the wheelies will not include a built-in sub gigahertz module so you will need to solder it on an extension board and same thing here for the infrared module so that's something you need to consider because it's not a device you could buy and write of it you know play around you need the soldering iron and be time to to mess with it Otherwise, HRAT was selling complete setup in the past, but none of them are available right now. I do not know if we consider to do that again in the future, but depending on the availability, you could still buy either on AliExpress or on the Liligo website, both module the T-Display and the Shield. From experience, I have noticed a price difference that is much cheaper on the Liligo website. So depending where you live and your currency, it might be interesting to use this website. So now let's move on with the downloading and installation of the firmware. Let's say you want to support the developer and buy its personal firmware. So you need to go under the section buy in the GitHub page and then click on firmware. The link will open the store. And from here, there is only available product, which is the Willy firmware, and you could buy it. Once you paid everything, you will receive your bill, which will contain a link to download the willy.zip archive. Here is the unpacked folder. So you could see there is two subfolder, one for the sub gigahertz, which contain all the instruction to build your WC1101 shield and your infrared shield. The module here with the ESP32 and the screen do not have any sub gigahertz or infrared capabilities. So it's up to you to take your soldering iron and build everything. Now we're going to move on and flash the device. Thanks to the Willy Update website, we could do that on the web browser right away. In order to be able to flash the Willy firmware, we need to put the device on DFU. And for this, we need to have the combination of both button, left reset button and bottom left button hold. So I will do both.
So as you can see right now, I have this message that uh, asked me if I want to allow the connection for GTAC serial. So that means we just put it in debug. And here on Google Chrome, I will hit Willy firmware and now click on connect. Then it should like show me yeah, the display on like the actual um, connection I just have established by using a USB cable. So I'm going to hit connect. And now of course install Willy firmware. Right now, as you can see, the screen is black and there is like two LED lights, one green and one red. So I might speed up the, the video if it's taking too long, we'll see. Otherwise, you could uh, have actually a good estimation on how long it will take. You might be familiar already with this if you are flashing ESP for ESP Home or other projects. So yeah, here we go. Estimated time is two minutes. Usually they are pretty, they're pretty fair. Yeah, even not here. Okay, keeping an eye on the screen to see if it's already booting up. And here we go. So here, as you can see, I have like a serial number, which is the one I will need to provide to the developer in order to have my device register and be able to use it. Here is my wrap up and understanding from discussion over the Wave Sentinel with Troy channel and also HRAT discussion. Basically, HRAT decided to ask for a fee here, 35 euro license firmware to actually avoid any abuse like people, you know, downloading the firmware, buying modules, selling it for profit, or installing on their own in order to abuse, like annoy people, whatever you can do, of course, desynchronizing, remote, etc. I'll let you imagine. So basically here there is manual activation and that's done from HRAT himself. So what is doing after the installation, you have actually the unique Mac ID of each ESP32 that is displayed on the screen. I have blurred mine in the video and that is converted to decimal. And what is doing is asking you to provide it via Discord, and then it's going to embed it your ESP32 MAC address in the next firmware. So each time someone purchase one, it will add it in a list in the firmware. Since the ID in the firmware will match, it will work on the new device. So now you really need to Take this in consideration based on your willingness for support or willingness for being able to do whatever you want with the device. So I think there is a balance between, you know, the, the trust and the project and I trust. So I went and buy it. A few hours later, after sending my serial number and my email address, which is the one I used to purchase the firmware, I got a confirmation 
and I'm now able to do a last step, which is downloading a last update from Willis firmware. So let's go and do that together. I already have the device in boot mode, as you can see both LED light here, and I will click on connect, select like before. And now I will click on install Willy firmware and hit install. Installation is complete. OK, next. And now I will just reset the device. And now, as you can see, I have the menu displayed on the screen with sub gigahertz and infrared. And now I do not have any module plugged, so we're going to build this together. Here's the shield that you need to buy if you want to have like the official product. And from this part, you have already micro SD reader and like the pin slot that will come below. And you could see the integration will be uh, pretty okay. Just uh, a few cent one, one centimeter if you actually uh, plug it. And Right now, it's it's the best fit, I will say, but you could like definitely do that on your own. If you have a small board and you trim it in order to reduce the size. Now, what I want to do basically is just to pin the different pins here with my module. And from here, I will be able to see if everything is working with my famous remote control. As you can see here, I have all the breadboard wires and they are connected to my WC1101 module with a short antenna. That one came with the Evil Crowd RF2 and I just made this connection temporary because don't want to mess up um, that night the shield. So it's not something that is pocketable here. Of course, you need to plug the battery if you want to that connector. Otherwise, let's go. So we are going with the sub gigas right now because that's the module I have connected. I'm going to hit record I'm going to play so you could see here if it's going to get any signal right now and my remote here. So I'm going to play, let's say, minus. So that's for fan. Here we go. So we have the preset that is defined, the frequency which it was captured, and type of protocol. So here it's raw, it's not being uh, recognized, but I'm only recording a raw signal, so that's expected. And the sample length. And here you also have like a floppy disk, but as I do not have any micro SD, I'm not able to, you know, save anything. So here I'm going to click on the paper plane here. And the signal is sent to my fan. So no, it decreases the speed as I pressed. And that's it for the replay attack here on the wheelie. I could also use the scanner. So here I'm running it. And I'm going to press the light here. Here we go.
And let's go quickly to the settings. So you have all the different um, frequencies that um, module support and the preset for the modulation, right? That's pretty easy to navigate. And you have also in MISC the famous Tesla and other functionalities that I might cover in a later in a new video. And let's go to MISC. You will see here different functionality I might cover in upcoming videos. And that one here that many people know is Tesla. So on your car, you could just play the signal and it's going to open the charging door. That's it.